this. Uh, I want to try this again. The last video didn't seem to want to post, so we're going to try this again. Uh, there's been a few people posting some ideas on you know, what they think a uh, knife should look like that's going to pass the ABS performance test, and um, there's been a few arguments about that. So I thought I'd talk about what I think. This is my uh, test knife that I did in the shop before I did my Master Smith performance test. This test, this knife here is 360 layers of 15 and 20 and 1095. Um, hidden tang, 10 inches, about two inches wide, two and three quarters of that. And this has been bent now 15 times, 12 times, something like that. And you can see it's still pretty straight. And why is that? Well, it's because I threw hardened this knife. It is the same hardness here um, when it came out of the quench as here. I then soft backed it a little bit for insurance. Um, but the heat treat, while good, is not the reason this knife bends and flexes. That's all about the geometry, the thickness of the knife and the, the tapers. If you look at this knife when I bend it, you'll see it's bending in a nice, even parabellum curvature and not kinking anywhere in the curve. It's not under a great deal of pressure. The thinness of the knife makes it easier for it to bend. It doesn't have to work as hard because this outer layer doesn't have to stretch as far because these are narrower. So again, 90 degree bend, not too big a deal with this knife. My first test knife for my journeyman smith, I did something similar. This was the one I did in the shop. This knife went seven times back and forth before it snapped. I felt that was enough and I cut the tip off so I could use it as a bench knife. Um, let's try bending this one again. It is about an inch and a half smaller. But you see this one, I put a lot more distal taper in it. And I think that was a mistake. Um, it forced too much of the bend at the end. And I drew the spine a little too much, which forced it to stay bent. So let's see. I don't know if this will stay, what this will do, but we'll try it. You see it just kinking right there. And then coming back. Pretty sure that was 90. So while this is a passing knife, I like this a lot better. This knife is still usable, not so much. So I like to make a knife that's gonna pass and then still be usable. Um, this isn't to say that you can't do it the other way, which is to do a fairly thick knife and either edge quench or draw the spine down to dead soft and just accept that the knife will bend. That's fine. But this has an inherently larger number of risks when it kinks like this. All of that strain is right here instead of being distributed over the length. Much safer. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.